Hello, this is Lias from PKIAAS.io, and I'd like to demonstrate some of the other methods of certificate request and issuance supported by the site. So to get started, we'll log in. And one of the first points I'd like to make is that all certificate request and issuance revolves around the concept of a certificate template. And there's certain pre-configured attributes that exist inside each template that tell the certificate what it is and is not allowed to do. And so whenever you're going to issue a certificate from your CA, you'll want to go into this certificate templates, manage templates, and you're going to choose one of three options, public certificate request, submit CSR, or create pre-approved request. In the previous video, we were looking at submit CSR. And this time we're going to use public certificate request, which is something that you would use when the administrator of the web server, in this case, and the administrator of the public key infrastructure are two different admins. And the public key infrastructure administrator is going to send an invitation to the web server administrator to make a certificate request. So the PKI administrator would click here and put in the email of the web server administrator and click send. Web server administrator will get an email looking like this, and they'll click this link. And they have the option to either submit a CSR, or if they uncheck this, they will just put in the attributes that they're requesting for their certificate. And so let's put a couple attributes in here. Just to make a note that we are not submitting a CSR like we were before. So when we go to retrieve our certificate, rather than just getting the public part of that certificate, the web browser is actually going to generate a private key for us and give us the opportunity to download a PKCS12, which has the private key and the public key inside of the same container. So let's submit this request. And let's see what that looked like from the administrator's perspective. In pending requests, we can see this pending request. We'll click on it if we're OK with all those attributes. Let's go into validity just for fun and overwrite this to have only 10 days of validity. And we're going to send them an approved voucher. In the email the web administrator receives, there will be a link where he can claim his approved certificate. We'll just put a password of 1234. 1234. And when we click Submit, the web browser is actually going to create a private key, and it's going to create a generic CSR with that private key. And it's going to submit it to the server, and the server will sign that CSR with the pre-approved configuration that we used earlier. And when we download this PFX, it'll ask us for the password. And we will place that in the personal store where IIS can see it. And then we should be able to see the new certificate here. And notice that it is only good for the 10 days that we had pre-approved it for. And if we take a look, we should see the common name that we approved, as well as the three subject alternative names. Hopefully I did an okay job of explaining that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below.